First of all, let's just understand the general idea of statistics. According to R. A. Fisher, the father of statistics, it is a branch of mathematics which specializes in data. It deals with the collection, analysis, interpretation and presentation of masses of numerical data. It visualizes the data in the form of charts and graphs. The main functions of statistics are presenting facts in definite form, making comparison, formulations and testing of hypothesis, forecasting, policy making, measuring uncertainty and to enlarge the knowledge. That is we can say that statistics enables one to enlarge his horizon. The two major divisions of statistics are descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics deals with the classification, presentation and diagrammatic representation of data. That is, it summarizes the data. For example, calculating the overall percentage of a student or calculating the average temperature in a particular area comes under descriptive statistics. Or we can say that or we can say that every sport descriptive statistics is used. Let's consider a cricket match. In a cricket match, uh, we can calculate the run rate using descriptive statistics or we can calculate the economy of a bowler using descriptive statistics. When it comes to inferential statistics, drawing a conclusion about a population based on a observed sample is called inferential statistics. That is, we collect a data and based on that we make inferences and predictions. Inferential statistics use statistical models like generalized linear model, ANOVA, regression analysis and many more which can be discussed in later sessions. Now let us dive into the theory of sampling and different sampling methods. When you conduct a research about a group of people, it's rarely possible to collect data from every person in that group. Instead you select a sample, the sample is the group of individuals who will actually participate in the research. To draw valid conclusions from your results, you have to carefully decide how you will select a sample that is representative of the group as a whole. There are two types of sampling methods. Probability sampling and non-probability sampling. Probability sampling involves random selection allowing you to make strong statistical inferences about the whole group. Non-probability sampling involves non-random selection based on convenience or other criteria allowing you to easily collect data. There are four types of probability sampling. Simple random sampling, systematic sampling, stratified random sampling and cluster sampling. Mathematical statistics model questions. Question number one. Which branch of mathematics deals with the collection, analysis, interpretation and presentation of masses of numerical data? Answer is statistics. Question number two. The process of collecting required information from the population is called dash. The answer is enumeration. Question number three. The process of collecting information from every unit in the population is called dash. Answer is complete enumeration or census. Question number 4. Data collected from the original source of information is called dash. Answer is primary data. Question number 5. Statistical data collected by partial enumeration is called dash. Answer is sampling. Question number 6. A member in the population is called dash, an element. Question number 7. If the number of units in the population is fixed, such population are called dash. The answer is finite population. Note that if units are infinite, such population are called infinite population and population consisting of real items are called real population and population consisting of units as a result of Repeated trials like tossing a coin or rolling a die is called hypothetical population. Question number 8. The list of map identifying each unit by a number for adopting the appropriate sampling procedure is called dash. The answer is sampling frame. Example list of waters. Question number 9. Name the different types of sampling techniques. The answer is random or probability sampling non-random or non-probability sampling and mixed sampling. Question number 10. 
Name the type of sampling technique in which equal probability of selection is attached to each sampling unit at each draw. The answer is random or probability sampling. Question number 11. Name the sampling scheme in which each and every unit of the population has equal chance of being included in the sample. The answer is unrestricted sampling. Note that if there exists heterogeneity in the sample and the investigator is aware of it, then the population is divided into homogeneous groups and sample is drawn independently, that is unrestricted sampling from each group. Such sampling techniques are called restricted sampling. Stratified sampling, systematic sampling, etc. comes under this scheme. Question number 12. The sampling techniques that do not operate on the principle of randomization is called DASH. The answer is non-random or non-probability sampling. Question number 13. If a population contains units from two different categories, such populations are called DASH. The answer is dichotomous population. Question number 14. The number of possible samples of size small n out of capital N population size in SRSWOR that is simple random sampling without replacement is equal to dash. The answer is capital N C small n. Question number 15. The number of possible samples of size small n out of capital N population size in SRSWR that is simple random sampling with replacement is equal to dash. The answer is capital N raised to small n. Question number 16. Probability of drawing a unit at each subsequent draw remains same in dash. The answer is SRSWR. Note that since the number of units in the population remains same, each unit has a probability to occur in the sample more than once. Question number 17. The sampling procedure in which the population is divided into homogeneous groups and sample is drawn from each group is called DASH. The answer is stratified random sampling. Question number 18. Homogeneous groups in stratified random sampling is called DASH. The answer is strata.